Welcome to Dean Savvy Cavies. Can guinea pigs eat cherries? Yeah, they can. But we need to go over some important information before you start feeding them to uh, feeding cherries to your guinea pigs. So one of the most important things you need to consider when you're feeding cherries to guinea pigs is that these cherries have pits in them and the pits actually contain um, enough cyanide in them to do some harm to your guinea pigs. Um, if it's toxic to them, don't give them the pits because they're poisonous, toxic, and they also can choke on them. You don't want them to do that. So I'm gonna show you something that I do. I have a little tool um, to take the pits out. It's this thing. Um, I use it to take the pits out. I don't know if it's a real cherry pit or not, but it's just something that I happen to have acquired over the years and I use it for that. So I'll show you what you do. You put it in the in here and then you just push. Easier said than done when you're trying to film it, right? <laughs> so you just push that through and it's supposed to push the pit out. It doesn't always, but it makes it easier to get. Cherries are very juicy and messy. <laughs> Um, so then it's easier to cut open and just take the pit right out. See, there's the pit. You don't want that. You put it right in the compost. Yeet! Um, another thing you can do is just take a knife, good old-fashioned paring knife, and just cut it. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but you can just um, cut it with the paring knife in half, and then you just take the pit out. take the pit right out of there and put it in the compost room. Oh, there. Whenever I serve fruit to the guinea pig or any food at all that has a seed in it, I always cut the um, item in half. So, so I've cut it in half and the pit is now out. You can see it's gone. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just cut up two cherries and then I'll give each guinea pig a half. That's all they really need. You only feed um, one or two one or two cherries um, per serving because too much fruit uh, is actually harmful for them. You need to um, be aware that it can cause uh, gas, bloat, diarrhea, any fruit if you give too much. That's why we only feed fruit to guinea pigs no more than two to three times a week and very small amounts uh, at that. I'll go over the portion here in just a minute um, in more detail with the nutrition facts. Cherries have some sugar in it. Um, uh, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture website, one cup, which is about 154 grams, uh, is has about 20 grams of sugar in it. It's pretty high. Um, but I went to another website that was called uh, FatSecret.com. I've never heard of this. Anyone else know about this? It's kind of cool, actually. You can enter in a certain portion for a food, and then it'll give you the nutrition facts, so you're not being stuck to a big, large portion like you would get on um, other websites that you know, give larger <laughs> portions because we're feeding guinea pigs when we get a little bit, right? So um, the fat secret said uh, one cherry has 0.87 grams of sugar. So this little guy here, um, it has 0.7 grams of, 0 0.07, excuse me, grams of protein, which is 6% daily value of he needs. Um, and the vitamin C, fruits and veg, some of it has vitamin C, which is very important for guinea pigs. You need that in their diet every day so they don't get scurvy. Um, see my vitamin C video up here and check it out. Maybe it's gonna be here. I think it's up here. Well, you'll see it pop up here. One cherry is 0.5 milligrams of vitamin C, not very much. Um, so please supplement with other vitamin C, whether it's a tablet or liquid, however you prefer to do it. Um, and it's high in carbs though. Do we want our guinea pigs to get a lot of carbs? One cherry has 91% daily value of carbs, which is 1.09 1 1 grams. Um, yeah. Uh, and I did something kind of interesting. I went to Guinea Links. I love their food chart. Check it out. Um, I'll put the link here and also in the description. Um, for 16 grams serving of cherries, which is actually two of these guys here. Um, it was good to know they gave a breakdown of um, like calcium to phosphorus ratio, which is um, 0.6 to 1. Um, so that's actually pretty good. It has lower calcium. It listed sour cherries and sweet cherries and the, um, it was around maybe like two 
calcium in the sugar was like around one to two, so that wasn't bad. It was, it was pretty low, so that's good. Um, but just be aware of what you're feeding your guinea pigs and how much, um, because we want to be responsible and make sure that we're not harming them. We want to help them and give them treats, but we don't want to harm them either. So I appreciate you watching today. Thank you very much. Um, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, be sure to check out my Etsy, Etsy shop. I have um, guinea pig fleece pads, uh, liners, and I've put up some face masks, some cloth face masks too. Um, in this day and age, you kind of need them. So that's there as well. Um, and I want to thank you. Um, welcome to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate your support. And I'll see you next week. I think next week I'll be um, putting up my cabbie house from The Sims 4 for the cabbie girls I created. I'm going to put that up. Um, I'm going to work on that this week, uh, filming uh, from my, my Sims <laughs> account. And um, that always takes a while because whenever I get online to, to do Sims, Time flies like next thing you know like six hours have gone by and I've only intended to be on there like maybe one or two hours so that's the beauty of Sims it's addicting and I love it and it helps pass the time but you gotta be responsible and take care of other things like our guinea pigs so thank you very much I'll catch you next week bye